<laughs> Meet bicycle. Hello everybody, welcome back to Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Today I've got another badass rank guide for you guys, and we're going to be covering the challenge Fap Trap in the map Cluster Overlook. So, the challenge is to find Claptrap's hidden room. So, I'm going to show you exactly where that is now. It's uh, pretty easy to find really, and can be done quite quickly to uh, actually find the room. So, once you head into uh, Overlook, head into the main part where all the buildings are, and it's not the first, it's the second shack just here. There you go, that is Claptrap's hidden room. But, nothing is ever simple in Borderlands. There are three red lights there. They need to be green before this door opens. And uh, yeah, you've got to do something to actually activate all three of them uh, things. Now this one took me quite a long time to find actually. But basically there are three little jump pad things that have got to, like switches that you've got to slam down on. And uh, there's one over there, there's one by Dave's and uh, there's one over there where I've just fired now. So I'm going to show you all three now. Uh, the first one we're going to head towards the Holy Spirits. And uh, right at the back of the Holy Spirits, to the side, is a little um, like ledge islandy thing. There you go, as you can see a little rock poking out. And uh, there is one of the uh, pressure pads that you've got to actually jump on, slam down on and activate. So that is the first one activated. Now I will say that you've got to be quite quick here because if you take too long, um, the lights actually reset and then you have to go and do them all again. So we're just going to head back to Claptrap Shack now. And there you go, as you can see, one light is actually on. So the second location is uh, behind Dave's shack um, over here, as you can see. And uh, once again, right at the back, there is a uh, little hidden rock island thing. And uh, go ahead, slam down on that. And then we're going to head to the area where Te Earworm is, that little side boss uh, right over here, that giant fresher party guy. And uh, if you run up here, you'll see a big rock just over at the top of this hill. And uh, right behind there is your third pressure pad. So go ahead and activate that. I'll bring up a map location for this one because uh, it is a bit precise uh, where it actually is. Uh, it's not just behind a, uh, a notorious building that we all know about. So uh, there you go, that is all three pressure pads actually activated. So now we can just go ahead and uh, make our way back to Claptrap's shack. And uh, once we're there, as you can see, all three lights are activated. And uh, once you head in, there you go, challenge complete, Fab Trap. So uh, this is like a little... Uh, a little room with a chest in it and uh, there's also a like a little computer you can actually you know interact with it a little bit and it's basically a little autobiography of uh, claptrap i think there's three different things in there so we'll go ahead and read them out now um it says chapter one explosives are not the same as fireworks and there's a little bit of text in there as well um and basically it's just like a little you know three page thing of uh, what we've basically seen really it's just telling us uh what's happened to him during this actual story mission and it's basically what he says, it's a little autobiography so uh, quite cool really and you can uh, just have a little read through that and uh, yeah that's really all there is to do in this secret room it's not really that good, I was quite disappointed by that doll chest in there as well I thought it would be a lot you know, more rewarding than a crappy little doll chest it should have at least been a red chest but having to do all that um, you know, not really but then again and in this game most of the chests are disappointing so uh, yeah they're kind of uh, used to that by now but uh, yeah that's it anyway guys that is the challenge fat trap on cluster overlook quite a lot to do for that one really it's not just a simple case of going and finding something but uh, yeah it's quite fun to do these little challenges now and again so uh, for those of you that don't know how to do it that is exactly how to do it so uh, thanks for watching everyone check out the link in the description for the playlist for the rest of the Badass Rank Challenge Guides, they'll all go in here and uh, all DLC and also non-DLC uh, Badass Rank Guides all kept together. So uh, yeah, be sure to check them out and hopefully there's some things in there that you haven't got. Uh, that's it anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.